Hello, good evening, Elena. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening, class. How are you? Hi, lady. Hello. Hello, good evening. How's it going? ¿Cómo vamos, chicos? Good. ¿Cómo están? Bien. ¿Y usted? ¿En you? Super bien. Ay, ¿en you? <laughs> Se me cruzó el inglés y el español. <laughs> ok. <clears throat> um, let's see, Julio. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Vamos a tener apagada la cámara un ratito porque he tenido, he tenido problemas ahí con eso. O sea, creo que es mi conexión a Wi-Fi. Está fallando un poco. Bueno. Let's see, Elena, hello, are you here? Is Elena por acá? Hi, Julio. I cannot listen to you. I don't know why. Creo que no está conectado, no sé. Julio, no se escucha. Tiene activado el micrófono. Mm -hmm, pero no, no lo escucho, no se oye nada. No, no. Verifique, Julio, ahí el micrófono. Ya no se escucha. Hi, Diana. Hello, Miguel. Hi. Hi, me. Hello, mm -hmm. welcome. How are you, Diana? I'm good, and you? Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. And Miguel, hi, Miguel. You hiding? Ya Hello. se me escondió por ahí. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Um, let me see. I'm going to send that link back again. Uh, I don't know where is the rest. Hello, Carlos. Welcome. Hello, the chair. Hello, hello. How are you, Carlos? Fine. Fine. Are you at home or at work? At uh, work. At work. Um, yeah. Okay. Así que estaré leyendo un buen rato. Okay, Carlos. Thank you for letting me know. Hey, okay, teacher.
Hello, Clelia, welcome. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Clelia, welcome. Okay, uh, we're going to start, guys. And let's see, we have so many activities always. So this is our session 17, guys. And well, in today's class, we're now going to continue with the bad Christmas. <laughs> but uh, we're going to have a um, new topic, a new grammar topic that we're going to discuss that is uh, basically about how to use a so and such. And we're going to, of course, have some speaking practice and uh, besides that, some exercises. Okay, so now let's start with the warming up. Um, the instructions for this activity are the following. We're going to work together uh, for the first activity. Uh, we're going to describe the pictures. So I want you to give me some descriptions about these pictures. And later on, we have another activity that is um, a matching with the definition and the word that, that I'm going to show you. Okay. See? Okay, Blanca. Okay. Hello. Hello, hello. Si hello, hello. Okay. Leo, yo si yes, please. Thank you. Instructions. Okay. Work together. Describe the pictures, match the definition with uh, the correct term, participate actively. Okay, nice. So I'm going to open that. So just give me one second. So it's going to take. Um, one year no <laughs> no it's going to take less some seconds so just let me know if you can see guys the um, cars in here so can you see the the numbers yes no can you see them yes okay perfect so let's see um listen we're going to work in in teams but uh, in here, what I want you to do is to give me descriptions, okay? So a picture will appear, and you have to think about, um, let's say, a description or an adjective related to that picture, okay? Let's see. Um, okay. Blanca, Miguel, Roberto, Clelia, and let's see, Jorge. Oh, let's see who else. Clelia, where is Clelia? No, oh, Clelia and Diana. You're going to be team number one. Okay, team one. Julio. Hi, Julio. Hi. Okay, Julio, you're going to be part of team number two, as well as Lady, Nilton, Rafael, Rosa, and... Oscar, team number two, okay. Are you ready, guys? Ready? Okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. So let's start. Team one, please pick a number. Guys, pick a number. Number one. Number one, of course. So how will you describe him? So try to give me one adjective in order to describe this person. Team one, you can help her. Any idea? Description, adjectives? Right in the computer. Okay, he writes in the computer. Mm, he's fast for example writing uh-huh he's writing yes okay nice but try to include an adjective for hard example work. hard working mm -hmm. he's a hard working person as you right 
So you are hardworking people. So you work a lot, okay? Uh, let's see, team number two, please pick a number. Team two, Veronica, you belong to team one. Team two? Hey, team one, me, okay, thank you. Okay, team number two, let's see, anybody? Five. Hello, Rosa, pick a number, five. Five. Okay, okay, so look at Omer Sensam. <laughs> So how will you describe him? Hungry. <laughs> hungry, right, of course. He has hungry. He's hungry. He's hungry. Okay, He's hungry. are you hungry, guys? Are you hungry? Yes, no? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to eat before the class. Three people. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Team number one, please go ahead, pick a number. Number seven. Number seven, of course. So give points to team number two. Very good, Veronica. <laughs> she, she's a good friend. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I think that this is the second time, right, Veronica? <laughs> yeah. Okay. How many points are you going to Thank give you. them? Only five just five <laughs> okay okay very good let's see team number two pick a number team be careful with your ten. ten okay so he doesn't have to think about it how will you describe him he's boxing he's boxing okay any other idea volunteer in his girl mm. with a fight okay he's in a fight brave brave so i think that's what you mean lady valiente brave, brave. Oh. any other idea julio what do you think julio mm. he's dancing is that <laughs> okay. okay? So, this is the one that lady mentioned, but the word is brave, valiente, right? I'll fight with the I don't know. So, probably when you were kids, you fight, you fought with different things, right? With monsters. <laughs> okay, let's see. Team one, pick a number. Team one, go ahead. Team, come on. Number six. Number six. Okay, so let's check it. Awesome. So what is that? <laughs> chicken is wrong. Ah, no, es pato. <laughs> the chicken is right. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's not a chicken. <laughs> the dog. Uh-huh. Give uh, me a description. Dog, dog is wrong. Dog is wrong. <laughs> it's running. Mm, okay, but try to think think about an, an adjective. So how will you describe this this action? So what could be an it adjective that what it doesn't take a shower? Okay, it doesn't take a shower. So it's okay, so why? So what's the adjective that describes this? So if he doesn't, if the dog doesn't take a shower, it's because is it is. What? Clean, for example. <laughs> What's the opposite? Dirty. Dirty. Okay. Ah, okay. So in here we were um, describing the action of the boy. So naughty, right? So what's the meaning for naughty? What's that? What's naughty, guys? Know. Ideas? No. Naughty, what's that? Naughty, what's that? Naughty. So when you travieso. like travieso, right? Como travieso. Yes, of course. Okay, team two, go ahead, pick a number. Team two, come on, number guys. Eight. Number eight, okay. Okay. After after watching the let's say, uh huh, lady. 
Screaming. Scream. Okay, he's screaming. Why is he screaming? Oh, well, uh, well, him. Oh. Yeah, he's screaming because of something. Why is he screaming? Probably when you go to main main wolf. Main wolf. Mm, he's scared. Okay. He's scared, right? When you go to the mountain, I, I don't know. So which is a place that you're afraid of? ¿Cuál es un lugar que le da miedo, guys? I don't know. That's the city under your bed. I don't know. The forest. Scary, right? Scary. He was scared. Okay, team one, go ahead, pick a number. Team one. Hello, hello. Where is Oscar uh, right here? Number two. Number two. Two. Okay, Rosa. Swap points. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Let's see who's uh, going to be the benefit. Who's going to receive the benefits? Okay, so we saw points. Uh, let's see, team two. Team two, pick a number so they install your points. 14. 11. 11, 14. Okay, 14. Let's see. How will you describe him? He's talk. He's talk. Okay, very good. Team one, go ahead, team. Four. Number four. Oscar? Yes. Number four. Four, okay. <laughs> He's too happy, right? <laughs> How will you describe Crazy. him? Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> It's per night. <laughs> okay. Well, crazy. Uh, team two. Number Pick a number, team. Nine. Number nine. Okay. Number nine. <laughs> so, what do you think about SpongeBob? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Emotional. Excited. Uh, lady? Excited. Excited. Okay. Nervous. Nervous. Okay. Okay. Excited. Very good. So you got it. Team uh, one. Team one. Go ahead. Your turn. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. How did it Go to last place. Oops. Okay. Uh, oops. Let's see. Team two. Give me a number. We have four options, five options. 11. 11, very good. So how will you describe this guy? <laughs> he runs. He runs very fast. He, fast. he runs fast. Okay, he's escaping from the, the police. <laughs> Guys, I don't want you to see, see uh, anybody doing this. <laughs> so don't escape. It's really fast. Okay, uh, team number one, go ahead team. 15. 15. Okay, let's see. How will you describe here? So this is you when you get good grades, when you get a 10 in the evaluation. She's happy. She's happy. Okay. Yeah. Team two, your turn. 18. 13. Okay, 13. Okay, how will you describe this uh, young lady? <laughs> Team, what do you think? <laughs> she a lot of candy cotton. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> She's very happy. Okay, no happy. Very happy. <laughs> okay, what else? 
Uh, yes, Rosa. Oh, who who said that? So let's check. We're just crazy, right? <laughs> she ate a lot of swift things. Uh, team one, three, or 16? Three. Number three. Three, okay. Okay. Ideas about this picture? It's a clean there. It's a clean room, right? Relax. He's very relaxed. Okay, he's relaxed. You relax. You dance. Dancing. What do you think about his room? Amazing. It's a mess. He's ah, relaxed. It's messy, right? What's the meaning, messy? Desordenado? Messy? Mm, Desordenado. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I say you're a mess, okay. Okay, team two, how will you describe him? Intelligent. Intelligent. And smart, right? Okay, very good. Let's see who's the winner. Team two, of course. Congratulations, team two. So now let's go back to the class. So you're ready for um, the next activity. Okay. Okay, so we're going to reinforce this vocabulary. Uh, we were studying this yesterday, of course, so I think you already know the answers. So let's practice. Uh, listen that and re listen and repeat that with me. Cash flow, cash flow, cash, cash flow. flow, income cash flow. statements, income statements, income statements. Okay, income statements. So what's the meaning for income statements, guys? So what do you think? What do you remember about income statements? Yeah. No, estado de cuenta. Okay. Estado, okay, los ingresos. Estado de ingresos, ¿no? Uh -huh. Sí. Estado de, de ingresos. Sí. Equity statement. Equity statement. Equity statement. Listen that and repeat that with me. Equity statement. Equity. Equity statement. Equity statement. Equity statement. Do you remember uh, the meaning? Do you remember that? Equity statement. Equity statement. Declaraciones de patrimonio. Mm -hmm. Yes, una declaración de patrimonio, un informe patrimonial o de, o de capital. Okay, uh, and the next one is letter D, balance, balance, balance sheet, oh, okay. sheet, okay, balance sheet, balance sheet. sheet, and what's this, balance sheet? Oja de balance. No, oja de balance. Okay, so let's try to oja match the words with the meanings, cash flow, so what's the definition for cash flow? Do you remember that cash flow? Flotante. Mm, okay, cash flow. What's that? Do you remember the meaning cash flow? Flujo de fondos. Un flujo de fondo de caja. Okay, de efectivo. Okay, so what could be the best uh, definition for cash flow? We have four options. One, two, three, and four. So think about it, think about it. Cash Number flow. Three. Number three, okay. So let's see. Okay, so I think we're, we're going to start with it. Okay, so you think it's number three. Number three. Uh, how about income statements? 
So you think is three cash flow. Okay, so you think this is A. How about income statements? Income statements. Number one. Number one, okay. So this is uh, una declaración de ingresos. Okay, so you think it's number one. Okay, so you think this is B. How about equity statement? Equity statement? Mm -hmm. Number four. Number four. Okay, so we're going to check that in a moment. Uh, let's see. And you think balance sheet is uh, the uh, number two, right? So now let's check. Okay. So equity statement is number one. Balance sheet, we're right, we're good, Rafael. Cash flow is A, very nice, Rosa. And income statement, so that's the only one that we need to modify. Okay, so there you have it. Let's see, who wants to read the first definition? Cash flow, cash flow. Can you read that definition, uh, Oscar? Cash flow. Report and company incoming and outcoming of cash. Mm -hmm. Operating of operating invest, invest investing investing in finance activities and financing activities. Very good. So we have the reports of the companies incoming and outcoming of cash. Let's see a uh, V. Oh, uh, Veronica, could you read V, income statements? Income statement summarize a company's income expenses at profit over a period of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's see, equity statement. Could you read that, please, uh, Julio? Report of the change in retain. Retaining mm -hmm. earning Retain. of the company during the stay period. Okay. So we have reports of the changes in retained earnings. Um, so we are talking about reports about the cash that is, uh, that was uh, won, right? The ganancias. And let's see, balance sheet, please, uh, lady. Reports uh companies, assets, liabilities, and owners quality at given point in time. Okay, so we have reports, uh companies, assets, liabilities, and owners quality. What are the assets? Do you remember assets? What's that? Assets. Do you remember assets? What was that? Assets? Uh -huh. Assets. Activos. Activos, okay. Liabilities. <clears throat> Liabilities, what's that? The opposite, right? Okay, so now uh, we're going to check some vocabulary related to adjectives. So, uh, in today's class, we're going to um, discuss a topic that is going to be uh, related to this. We're going to use some adjectives, okay? Just let me share it one second. So here we have it. Okay, so look at this. Uh, can you see, uh, tell me if you can see the picture. Can you see the picture? 
we have uh, three uh, rows. Okay, so we're going to practice the, the pronunciation and then we continue with something else, okay? Extroverted, extroverted, repeat it with me. Extroverted. 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 Sincere. 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 Self. 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 Confident. Self. Confident. Confident. Mm -hmm. So Confident. in here you have to pronounce L. Self. 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 Confident. Self. Confident. Okay. Optimistic. 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 Hardworking. Hardworking. Patient. 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 Calm. Calm. Kind. 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 Polite. Polite. Tidy. 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 Generous. 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 Honest. Honest. And there is nobody here. <laughs> okay. Honest. Sociable. Honest. Sociable. 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 Listen, Sociable. listen up. Sociable. 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 Okay. Friendly. 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 Clever. Clever. Brave. 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 Pleasant. 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 Cheerful. 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 Okay. Ah, uh, this one. Considerate. Considerate. Okay. So we have in here this two. Um, okay, so I'm going to rewrite this as a verb. So we can use that as a verb. So we're going to read it considerate as a verb. As an adjective, we're going to say considerate. Considerate. Okay. Considerate as a verb. As an adjective, we have considerate. 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 Okay, so repeat that again with me. Considerate, considerate as a verb, and considerate, consider it, considerate. Okay, so let's write a little bit more. Okay, extroverted, extroverted, sincere. 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 Self confident. Self confident. Self confident. Self confident. Optimistic. Optimistic. Are you optimistic, guys? Are you optimistic? Okay, good. Hard working. 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 Patient. Patient. Are you patient, by the way? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's honest. Calm. 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 Kind. Kind. Polite. 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 Tidy. 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 Generous. 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 Okay. Honest. 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 Sociable. 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 Friendly. 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 Clever. 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 
Brave. 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 Do you remember this one? Pleasant. Pleasant. Okay. Pleasant. 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 Cheerful. Pleasant. Cheerful. Cheerful. Mm -hmm. Cheerful. So there you have another way to say, a, let's say, so it's a sentiment for a happy, right? And how about this one? Considerate. 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 And this one? Considerate. Okay. Considerate. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Considerate. Okay. So now we're going to check some more. We have, um, I think we have uh, three more uh, rows. Okay. <clears throat> wow, well, we have more. So interesting. Okay, so let's check these. Um, we have clever uh, again, clever, straightforward, straightforward, straightforward. Repeat that with me. Clever, clever, clever. straightforward, straightforward, straightforward. Straightforward, discreet, discreet, funny, 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 polite, polite, polite. modest, modest, shy, shy, pessimistic, 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 lazy, 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 impatient. Impatient, nervous, 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 unfriendly, 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 unfriendly. Disorganized. Disorganized. disorganized, disorganized, selfish, selfish, dishonest, 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 uh huh, dishonest. Clumsy. 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 We have unpleasant. 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 And boring. 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 Okay, back again. Clever. Clever. Straightforward. Straightforward. Okay, discreet, discreet, funny, 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 polite, polite, modest, 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 shy, 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 pessimistic, pessimistic, lazy, lazy, impatient, impatient. Nervous, 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 unfriendly, unfriendly, disorganized, disorganized, selfish, selfish, dishonest, dishonest, clumsy, clumsy, unpleasant, unpleasant, boring, boring. Okay, oh. so let's continue. And I think we finished with this. Okay, so we're just missing two rows. Okay. Inconsiderate, 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 uncultured, 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 naive, naive, naive. 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 No naive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Twisted. Twisted. Reckless. Reckless. Reckless means temerario as well. T reckless. Okay. Serious. 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 Rude. 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 Rude.
Egocentric. Weary. Weary. And capricious. Capricious. Okay. Back again. Inconsiderate. Inconsiderate. Uncultured. 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 Naive. 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 Okay, so just see the lead Y. Naive. 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 Okay, twisted. Twisted. Reckless. Reckless. Serious. 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 Okay, rude. 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 Egocentric. 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 Okay. Worry. 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 And capricious. 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 Okay. Capricious. Nice. We're ready for the next activity. Yes, right? So let's continue, guys. Uh, look at this. Uh, I hope that you have taken some pictures, but uh, I'm going to show you some more the, later on. So there are going to be some of the ones that you already saw. And look at this. We have the class objective for today's class. Can you read that, please, uh, Oscar? Participants with vowel, white, or sentences using so or such about mm -hmm. uh, article and grams. Uh -huh. And groups. Okay. So we're going to talk about a so and such. But before that, we have some previous knowledge related to um, financial things not getting a bank statement. So what happened when you don't get a bank, bank statement? So we're gonna check that. So we're gonna practice a conversation and we have Tom, how may I help you? How may I help you? We have the answer, I'm having a problem. What is it? I apparently owe some fees. Oh, some fees, but I never got the bank statement. I do apologize for that. My fees went up, but I didn't even know I had fees to pay. I see your problem. What are you going to do about it? I will cancel the fees you owe. I don't have to pay any fees. You'll only have to pay the initial fee. And that's fine. I appreciate your help. Okay, back again. How may I help you? I'm having a problem. What is it? I apparently owe some fees, but I never got the bank statement. I do apologize for that. My fees went up but I didn't even know I had fees to pay. I see your problem. What are you going to do about it? I will cancel the fees you owe. I don't have to pay any fees. You only have to pay the initial fee. That's fine, I appreciate your help. Okay, so let's check. Let's check uh, some uh, the pronunciation back again. How may I help you? 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 Okay. I'm having a problem. I'm having a problem. I'm having a problem. I'm having a problem. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? 
What is I it? I apparently, 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 oh, oh, okay, some fees. Oh. Some mm -hmm. I apparently I owe some fees, but I never got the bank statement. But I never got the bank statement. Mm -hmm. But I never got the bank statement. So what are the what is the problem that she has? She owe some fees. What's the meaning for owe? Owe. I apparently oh. owe some fees, debe cosas, taxes, multas, but I never got the bank statement. Okay, I do apologize for that. Okay, look at this. Uh, do you remember that yesterday I was mentioning this? You can use do in order to emphasize something. Recuerden que pueden utilizar do y un verbo también cuando ustedes quieren hacer énfasis en algo. Claro que no siempre van a utilizar I do, uh, I do right. That's not necessary, right? I do dance. No. So when you want to emphasize something, you add uh, this uh, do. Queremos enfatizar algo, pueden ubicar el do después del sujeto. Y, de, y lo que le seguiría ahí sería el verbo. I do apologize. So in order to make an emphasis, I do apologize for that. My fees went up, but I didn't even know I had fees to pay. I see your problem. What are you going to do about it? I will cancel the fees you owe. I don't have to pay any fees. You'll, you'll, you will, you'll, you'll only have to pay the initial fee. That's fine. I appreciate your help. Appreciate, appreciate your help. Okay, let's see. Volunteers for this activity. Raise your hands. Come on, volunteers. Okay, Oscar, you're the first one. Anybody else? Veronica, okay. Okay, you begin, Oscar. Tiene el micrófono apagado. Oh yeah, Oscar, you're mute. Hey, I'm ready. How many? How may I help you? I'm having a problem. What is it? I apparently owe some fees, but I never got the bank statement. I do apologize. Apologize for that. My fees. Went up, but I didn't even know I have fees to pay. I see your problem. What are you going to do about it? I will cancel the fees you want. I don't have to pay any fees. You only have to pay the initial fee. That's fine. I appreciate your help. Okay, thank you guys. So let's check some verbs. I do apologize, 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 oh, apologize. Okay, apologize. I do apologize for that. Oh, 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 oh. and let me check. Uh, my fees went up. Uh, yeah, by the way, what's went up? Any idea? So it's a race. When tap means it's a race. Un. <clears throat> My fees went tap, but I didn't even know I had fees to pay. ¿Qué pasó con las, con las multas o lo, lo que tenía que pagar? She sí, didn't know. Uh -huh. sí, no. Incrementaron, right? Aumentaron. No, 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 no,
but I didn't even even know. Ni siquiera sabía que tenía. Ni siquiera sabía que tenía que pagar. Que tenía que pagar las multas. Okay. And let's see. Okay. Appreciate. 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 Initial. Initial fee. Sure. Initial fee. Okay. So let's see it once more. How may I help you? I'm having a problem. What is it? I apparently owe some fees, but I never got the bank statement. I do apologize for that. My fees went up, but I didn't even know I had fees to pay. I see your problem. What are you going to do about it? I will cancel the fees you owe. Um, I don't have to pay any fees. You'll only have to pay the initial fee. That's fine. I appreciate your help. Okay, let's see. I want to listen to uh, somebody else. Um, anybody else? Volunteers? Marlene? Yes. Okay, Julio? Marlene? Oh. Let's see. A lady. Okay, lady? Okay. Go ahead, guy. How may I help you? I am having a problem. What is it? I apparently owe some fees, but I never got the bank statement. I do apologize for that. My fees went up, but uh, I didn't even know I have fees to pay. I see your problem. What are you going to do about it? I will cancel the fee you owe. I don't have to pay any fees. You only have to pay an initial fee. That's fine. I appreciate your help. Okay, very good. So, but, okay. Let's see, let's try to do it once more and then we're going to do it in a break of rooms, okay? How may I help you? I'm having a problem. What is it? I apparently, so you can say apparently, oh, oops, apparently, apparently or apparently, okay? I apparently owe some fees, but I never got oh, the so payment. I do apologize for that. My fees went up, but I didn't even know I had fees to pay. I see your problem. What are you going to do about it? I'll cancel the fees so you can contract these for I I'll. So if you want, uh, you, you can do it. You can contract this for I'll. I'll cancel I'll the do. fees you owe. I don't have to pay any fees. So that's the important part, right? You only have to pay, you'll only have to pay the initial fee. That's fine. I appreciate your help. Appreciate. Okay, appreciate. Appreciate. Appreciate your help. Okay, so listen up. I'm going to give you, let's see, um, two minutes. <laughs> no, just three minutes, right? Three to five minutes. So please uh, practice with the classmate and then we come back, okay? Are you ready? Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Like SpongeBob, right? Okay, so let's go, guys, and uh, practice that conversation, and later we come back, okay? So I'm going to be checking the groups. Okay, let's see. Let me know if you don't have the if you didn't get the invitation. Me dicen ahí si no les apareció la invitación.
Julio, did you get the invitation? Fernando, uh, Robert is a listener, as well as Blanca. Okay. Hello, hello, what happened? Ah, estoy sola. <laughs> okay, so just hold on. Uh, this is team number, let's see. Ok, ya, ya invitamos a Julio, esperemos a ver si nos hay. Voy a compartir entonces la pantalla. Ok. Solo espero que venga Julio, si no, no voy. Because he's not here. Ok, he's here. Yeah, you can share the screen. Ok. Hi, Julio. Hi. Can you start? Okay. Uh, how may I help you? I am having a problem. What is it? I apparently owe some fees, but I never got the bank statement. I do apologize for that. My fees went up, but I didn't even know I had fees to pay. I see your problem. What are you going to do about it? I consider the fifth euro. I don't have to pay any fees. You only have to pay the initial fee. That's fine. I appreciate your help. Cambiemos. Who may who may I help you? How may I help you? Huh? I have a problem. What what is what is it? What's it? Ah what's it? Ah <laughs> is it? <laughs> Como? What is it? What is it? Ah, what is it? <laughs> I no sé. I apparently owe some fees, but I never got to the bank statement. I do. I do apologize for that. My feet went up, but I didn't ever know I have fees to pay. I see your problem. Hello, Miss. Hello, hello. Hello, dice que yo todavía ando en la calle, pero yo creo que Clelia también está de oyente, ¿verdad? Mm, Clelia, hello, hello. No. Ah, no, Isa, perdón, yo no hablaba Todavía porque todavía estoy. anda en la calle y creo que se okay. haya ruido. Thank you. Vamos a mandar a Clary entonces a practicar. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. okay. vamos, vamos a ver cómo ya antes, ¿ok? Y Gracias. Clary la vamos a mover. Just give me a moment. Ok, so I can bring Marlene here. ¿Qué número de team es este? Ok, hay dos. Dos. Tres. Tres, tres, es el tres. Ah. Tres. Okay. Vamos a traer a Marlene. Marlene me parece que creo que ella sí puede pasar. Fernando.
Hello, guys. Do you finish? Hello, miss. Hello. Sí, Hello, ya. Teacher. Ya repasamos. ¿No? Sí, ya lo repasamos. Nos intercambiamos personajes. Eh, vimos algunas oraciones. Pero quizás ya aclarándonos usted acá para estar seguro. Mm -hmm. <ríe> ok. Que es Go ahead. Dime. El, la tercera frase de Tom. I do apologize for that. Mm, me disculpo por eso. Ah, pues sí, estamos en lo correcto. Ajá. Ah, pues estábamos bien. <ríe> sí, nos damos tan perditos. Mm -hmm, lo que les mencioné. Y en la... Ajá, dime. No, 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 sí. Ajá, lo, lo único que les mencionaba ahí era que, por ejemplo, ahí, si ustedes notan, lleva el do, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y apologize es mi verbo principal. Entonces no tiene sentido si yo dice, di, lo tradujera, ¿verdad? I do apologize en español. Entonces eso quiere decir que el do en este caso lo estamos utilizando para hacer énfasis en algo. Entonces para que es, por decir algo, remarcar el, la disculpa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. En ese caso utilizamos uh -huh. un do en medio de, del sujeto y del verbo. Pero, pero se podría mencionar solo apologize. Sin Exacto. I do uh -huh. apologize. Exacto, solo podría decir I apologize for that. Pero como o sea, creemos pues... está como recalcando que sí, que uh -huh. sí se disculpa. Ah. Uh -huh. Lo hace más enfático para disculparse. Uh -huh. En este caso. Y podría, podría meter digamos, otros verbos, por ejemplo, eh, si le metiéramos, I do happy for you. No. Mm, no, sería con otro verbo. I, I do, uh -huh. let's say, vamos a poner un ejemplo por acá. Por ejemplo, cuando yo quiero hacer énfasis, Podría ser con algo que me guste, con algo en lo que yo quiero hacer énfasis. Por ejemplo, I do love it. Me encanta. Uh -huh. o sea, me encanta, pero es tan enfático porque quiero mostrar mi, mi sentimiento. Uh -huh. Quiero mostrar esa emoción que yo siento. Okay, I, I love it. Me encanta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I do love it es todavía más enfático. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No tendría que ser cuando usted quiere mostrar ese énfasis. I do like her, for example. I do like her. Me gusta. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. y, y por ejemplo, también en la cuarta oración, no digo en la quinta oración, cuando uh -huh. menciona I will counsel the face you own. Es como se llama el, el will. Aquí viene a ser otro punto como de hacer. O, ah, o este se, es otro tiempo verbal. Tiempo. Este es otro tiempo. Este es futuro. Cancelaré. I will cancel. Ahí mm. lo que utilizamos es un verbo auxiliar más un verbo eh, base. Entonces, la auxiliar es will para formar futuro y después sigue un verbo en forma base. I will eat. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo voy a comer. I will eat. Mm. Comeré. I will dance. Bailaré. I will apologize. Future. Ajá, future. Me disculparé después. I will apologize later. Ajá, pero ese, ese ya es futuro. Y ese mismo, eh, ese mismo eh, eh, will es este como bien. No, ese es otro. Ese es, un... ese es otro. Ese es well. Well. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Sí, yo me confundo en algunas We palabras. Well done. Sí, Muy bien hecho. Eh, well. well. También lo utilizamos como una palabra para decir well. Y después agrega, well. quiere decir bueno. Uh -huh. Lo que decimos nosotros en español. Well, uh, we're going to do this and that. Uh, well. Como una muletilla, se queda pegada también. Ah, o sea, se, se, yo he escuchado, bueno, hace mucho me ayudó alguien este, de un proveedor y me decía mucho eh, Lee o Lai, algo así creo. 
Ese es como muletía. Live. Ol... No, no, no sé qué, qué me decía en realidad porque se, se le dio como, como un nombre, se le escuchaba como un... Eh, live, 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 cada rato, live, live. Mm. Así, era como hacer una pausa y después armaba la palabra. El like como de cómo. Creo. Podría ser. Podría ser Ajá. que lo estaba utilizando como cómo. Que el like no solamente gustar, sino que puede significar eh, cómo. Ajá. Ajá, por ejemplo, let's see. Sí, porque hubo un momento en el que me, di, me, 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 me dijo, eh, sorry, I do, uh, uh, use a like. Eh, como que muy frecuentemente utilizaba el like. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Imagino que sí, quizás era como muy de tía. Por ejemplo, puede decir, I feel like, me siento como. Y well es un adverbio. adverbio. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, I slept very well. ¿Cómo dormí? Muy bien. Es un adverbio que está modificando el verbo. ¿Cómo dormí? Muy bien. Ok. Um, y es como en pasado, ¿sí? ¿Cuál? I slept very well. Mm, yeah, I slept very well. Dormí muy bien. But there is a difference, um, and there is an explanation for liking and us as well. Entonces tenemos, podría investigar estos dos, como us y like, cuando utilizarlo. Es like para decir que algo es como o similar a. Uh, this is, uh, just to give you an example, this is like uh, the previous group I have parecido o similar al grupo que tuve anteriormente. Eso significa like en algunas ocasiones, pero no sé si a eso se refería a la persona con la que estaba hablando. Probablemente sí, utilizaba esas palabras y ya las tenía bien la raíz pegada. Uh -huh. Como el hum, well, so, que son bien, bien marcadas. So, ah, so de, 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 de. Ah, sí, sí, ya he escuchado bastante esa frase. No, so, pero, so, ajá, pero so, abusamos. So, ajá. Ah, porque hay más. <ríe> sí. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Thanks. So we're going to go back. Vamos a regresar. Ok. Thank you, Verónica. Awesome. Okay, welcome back, guys. So now let's continue. We have a listening activity. And let's see, uh, lady, could you read the instruction, please? Rita's listening. Try to get the current answer to the questions given as well as to practice the vocabulary used in the listening practice. Bra by reading a short conversation with the vocabulary. Okay, so basically what we're going to do here is to listen to a conversation and we're going to answer some questions based on that conversation. Um, besides that, we're going to have a, we're going to check the vocabulary for this conversation. Uh, after that, you're going to write a short conversation with this vocabulary, it's going to be a short conversation, okay? So first, we're going to practice the vocabulary. We're gonna check the meanings. Later on, we're going to listen to the conversation. And after that, we're going to write a short conversation in pairs. So now we're going to open the link. So let me see, where's that? Okay. Just 
Okay, so I want you to try to take a screenshot or take oh, it is. Okay, so let me know if you can see the vocabulary. Can you see that, guys? Yes. yes? Okay, very good. So look, look at this. We're going to start with buck. Buck means a dollar. So that's the noun, a dollar. So you can say a uh, buck. So could you give me a buck? So that means a dollar. Uh, they have some bucks, some dollars. Could you load me a buck or two until tomorrow? So could you give me, right? Uh, be striped for cash. Idiom, so this is an idiom. Have no money available. So be striped for cash. Uh, could you read the example, please, um, Julio? Be striped for cash. You're mute. Uh, Activate. Uh, uh -huh. Have no money available. He has really been struck to catch because he lost his job two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So it means that he doesn't have any money, right? No money available. Okay. So be straight for cash. So he has really been straight for cash because I estado sin dinero, right? Straight for cash. Uh, pinch pennies. Could you read that, please? Uh, Oscar, pinch pennies. Pinch pennies. Be careful with money. Cop, couple have to pinch pennies. Hey, mm -hmm. They, they could like in, live, live. To live in the hole. Oh, that's another one. That's another one. Okay, so let's check this one. The young couple had to pinch pennies so they could live. So they had to be careful with the money. So you have to save the money, right? So if you got some money, so you have to save that and be careful and avoid it, right? Spending with, uh, I don't know, Valentine's, uh, presents, uh, I don't know. Uh, hamburgers, <laughs> you have to be careful. So you have to uh, pinch the pennies. So we have to pinch the pennies if we uh, want to go to the beach, right? <laughs> okay, in the hole, could you read that one, please, uh, Miguel, in the hole, in the hole? Miguel, in the hole. Is Miguel here, by the way? Hello. Uh -huh. oh, yes, Miguel, could you read this one, please? In the hole, in the hole. Uh, okay, in the hole. Um, my brother has charged so many purchases to his credit cards that he's in the hole. Okay, guys, questions. Our question, are you in the hole, guys? No. No, very good, because we... Pinch the pennies, right? <laughs> we are careful. Okay. So, in the whole means in depth. In depth. Okay. Uh, Veronica, help us with this one. Make and meet. Make and meet. Okay. Make and meet. Make enough money to live. When I was a student, I had to work three part-time jobs to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. So do you make ends meet, guys? So you, do you make enough money to live? Do you make enough money to live? Yes, the necessary money. So when I was yes. a student, I had to work three part-time jobs to make ends meet. So you have the money to pay the bills, to pay the fees, taxes, everything, to pay the, let's say the, the food. So you make ends meet, okay? Land, could you read this one, please? Uh, let's see, Rosa, land. Um, land, fine. I need to land a good job 
where I can earn a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So basically this is fine to find. I need to learn a good job where I can earn a lot of money. I need to land a nice apartment, right? I need to land. What do you need to land? What do you need to land, guys? Any idea? What do you need to land? I need to land a good friend. No. So what do you need to land? Contract. Mm -hmm. So what? What? What do you need to land? Do you need to learn a good job, another job? Yes, no, learn, encontrar, right? Is it clear? Okay, and we have be loaded. Will you help us with this one? Rafael? No. Be loaded, be loaded. Be loaded. Having a lot of money. Don't let you borrow money of you because in reality. In reality? In reality. In reality, his lot of his rich parents gives him um twenty five. Five hundred two thousand five two thousand and five hundred and five hundred mm -hmm. and spending money amount. Okay, so be loaded mean the means that you have a lot of money, so more than enough, right? So he's loaded. Are you loaded? Are you rich? Yes, no. we're going to be rich. <laughs> so if we're not rich, we're going to be. <laughs> so be loaded means uh, having a lot of money. So don't let him borrow money of you because in reality, he's loaded. So he's rich. Budget. Help us with this one, please. Uh, let me see. Marlene, help us with this one. Budget. Activate your microphone. Uh -huh. Marlene. Okay, not here. Let's... Okay. Okay. Uh, but, budget. A financial plan of expenses and icon. Mm -hmm. You okay. should create a budget or of your exp expenses. Mm -hmm. So we have to define what is an expense. So what's a, what are expenses? Gastos. Los gastos, right? So a financial plan of expenses and income. So you should create a budget of your expenses. So what's a budget? You should create a budget or your expenses. A budget, so what's that? So you In should... Life. Un plan, plan de presupuesto. Un presupuesto. Uh -huh. You should create a budget of your expenses. Okay, un presupuesto de gastos. Uh, keep track of. Uh, could you help us with this one, Julio? Here. Julio, Julio, help us, Julio, please. Keep track of. of keep the record of. Mm -hmm. Any business should keep track of its earnings. Mm -hmm. So keep a record of. So what's the meaning? Mantener un qué? O llevar registro. un registro, right? So any business should keep track of its earnings. And run out. A lady, help us. So we have a phrasal verb. Use up or exhaust. If you don't keep a budget, you might, might run out of money before your next paycheck. Mm -hmm. 
So if you don't keep a budget, you might run out of money before your next paycheck. So it means use up to finish, right? So you're done with the money, so you don't have any money. Terminar, acabarse, gastar, right? So we use up the money. Entonces nos quedamos sin. So you run out of money. So, for example, at the end of the month, we run out of money because we didn't uh, create a plan or a budget. So we didn't make a financial budget. But we run out money. Uh, we have utilities. Uh, help us with this one, please, uh, Veronica. Verónica, Burgos o Hernández. Uh, Burgos, utilities. Utilities. Okay. utilities. Service provided by gas, power, and waiter companies. The rent for this apartment includes the cost of utilities. Utilities. Okay. Utility. Uh, utilities. Utilities. You. Utilities. You, Utility. utilities, you, you, Utility. utilities, utilities. Okay, very good. Service provided uh, by gas, power, and water companies. So it means the bills, right? <laughs> the bills that we have to pay. The rent for this apartment includes the cost of utilities, las utilidades. So the gas, the energy, water, and things like that. Pay through the nose. Help us with this one, Oscar. Pay through the nose. Actually, you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Pay use the excessive, excessive amount of money. Car insurance is too expensive that you have to pay. Road that no most any type of coverage is there. Mm -hmm. So pay through the nose means pay an excessive amount of money. So I pay uh I pay through the nose for a car, for example, or for a cell phone. So probably it's a uh, an iPhone or I don't know a Samsung. So you mentioned the brands. Mm -hmm. So you pay through the nose. Uh huh. Oscar. So, but pay through the nose. It means that you pay an excessive amount of money. Probably yeah. you could you could find something cheaper or less expensive but you pay through the nose. So you pay through the nose, you pay more than enough. Más de lo que valía, so you pay more, right? So you pay excessively. So don't pay through the nose, guys. And we have knack. Uh, help us with this one, please. Uh, let me see. Anybody else? Uh, Veronica Hernandez? Help us. Knack. Well, knack. Knack. Okay, a special way or ability of doing something. My mother has a real knack for saving money on her low salary. Mm -hmm. So you have an ability, right, of doing something. My mother has a real knack for saving money. So knack means ability. So she has an ability for saving money on her low salary. Okay, so it means ability. So we do you have next? Yes, right. Uh blow, could you help us with this one, please, lady? Blow. Thoughtlessly. Spend thoughtlessly. No. Thoughtlessly. Thoughtlessly. Okay. No. Spend and soullessly or was wastefully 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 
¿Sí? Throw away. Throw away. Esa mañana, por favor. Lo primero de la mañana me dice, ¿verdad? Me cojo que como estoy pasando. Because sometimes grow money on things. No, 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 spend thoughtlessly so you don't think about spending the money so you just spend the money and that's it so what matters is to buy whatever thing that you want so you spend without thinking about it so you throw the money <laughs> okay uh it's similar to pay through the nose right so you just pay um people sometimes blow money on things that have no lasting value so you if well my mom said once if you see that somebody selling a rock you go and you get it <laughs> so you uh, just buy something without thinking about it mm -hmm. comprar algo sin pensar right um commute um help us with this one rafael commute Commute, mm -hmm. throw back and for viewing. Working okay. home, I commute by bus every every day. Mm -hmm. So travel back and forth between work and home. I commute by bus. Viajar, so that's the meaning, travel. So I commute by bus. Curb, and we have the last one that's curb, a uh, lessen bus. or reduce. So we reduce unless you curb your spending. Mm -hmm. Unless you reduce your spending, you're going to run out of money before the week is over. So unless you reduce your, let's say your budget, you want, or your the things, the expenses, or the money that you waste, you're going to run out of money. So you have to think about it, right? So now I'm to check what do they say, okay? Okay, so we have two more. Lie through the one's teeth. It means lie so you don't get in trouble, okay? The man lied through his teeth even though he was guilty on the crime. Mentir, right? So lie so you don't get in trouble. Rip someone off, cheat someone. I decided to hire to hire a lawyer because the salesman ripped me off. So rip someone off means cheat someone. So what's the meaning cheat? Cheat cheating. Do you remember cheat? What's that? Barato. No, cheat. Engañar, right? Mm -hmm. Look at this. I decided to hire a lawyer, Veronica, <laughs> because the salesman ripped me off. Porque el vendedor me engañó, me estafó. So, ripped me. Me lo bajó. Me lo bajó, <laughs> basically. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'll play the listening. I'll try to um, listen uh, carefully. You're going to hear some idiomatic expressions and uh, you're going to uh, notice the usage of this vocabulary in context, okay? So let's do it. Uh, could I borrow a few bucks until payday? I'm a little strapped for cash. Uh, yeah, I guess, but I'm pinching pennies myself, and you still owe me $20 from last week. Oh. And Mom and your friend Ron said that you borrowed money from them this past week. Oh, yeah. And how are things going anyway? Well, not very well. To be honest, I'm really in a hole, and I can't seem to make ends meet these days. What do you mean? I thought you'd landed a great job recently, so you must be loaded. Well, I do have a job, but I've used my credit cards to pay off a lot of things recently. But now I can't seem to pay the money off. Uh, do you have a budget? I mean, how do you keep track of your income and expenses? Well, when my money runs out, I come to you, of course. Great. No, but I guess I should have some financial plan. Well, let's see if I can help you. How much money do you spend on your apartment? Uh, I pay.
pay $890 on rent for the studio apartment downtown, not including utilities and cable TV, but the place has an awesome view of the city. Uh, $890? Why are you paying through the nose for such a small place when you could find a cheaper one somewhere outside of the downtown area? Yeah, I guess. Okay. How much money do you spend on food a month? Hmm, well, I'm not really sure. I think I spend about $600. $600? Well, I go out to eat at least four times a week, so the expenses add up. I just don't enjoy eating alone, and I don't have a knack for cooking like you do. Well, I can understand that, but perhaps you ought to buy some microwavable meals you could just prepare at home. Well, I guess I could. And entertainment? Well, I spend a few dollars here and there on basketball and movie tickets, a concert or two, and ballroom dance lessons. Uh, exactly how much do you spend on all of these? Just a few dollars? Well, oh, about $400 or so. Or so? No wonder you're having money problems. You just can't blow your money on things like that. And what about transportation? Well, I commute to work every day in my new sports car, but I got a great deal and my monthly payments are only $450 a month. Come outside and take a look. We can go for a spin. No, I've heard enough. You've got to curb your spending or you'll end up broke. I suggest you get rid of your credit cards, Aww. cut back on your entertainment expenses, and sell your car. Huh? Take public transportation from now on. Sell my car? I can't date without a car. What am I going to say? Uh, could you meet me downtown at the bus stop at 7? Come on! And you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to it. <sighs> and start with paying off your bills, starting with me. You owe me $50. $50? Wait, I only borrowed $20 from you last week. How did you come up with 50 Financial consulting fees. My advice is at least worth 30 <sighs> Okay, so I'm going to play this a second time. And then we try to answer, okay? Uh, could I borrow a few bucks until payday? I'm a little strapped for cash. Uh, yeah, I guess. But I'm pinching pennies myself, and you still owe me $20 from last week. Oh. And Mom and your friend Ron said that you borrowed money from them this past week. Oh, yeah. And how are things going anyway? Well, not very well. To be honest, I'm really in a hole, and I can't seem to make ends meet these days. What do you mean? I thought you'd landed a great job recently, so you must be loaded. Well, I do have a job, but I've used my credit cards to pay off a lot of things recently. But now I can't seem to pay the money off. Uh, do you have a budget? I mean, how do you keep track of your income and expenses? Well, when my money runs out, I come to you, of course. Great. No, but I guess I should have some financial plan. Well, let's see if I can help you. How much money do you spend on your apartment? Uh, I pay $890 on rent for the studio apartment downtown, not including utilities and cable TV, but the place has an awesome view of the city. Uh, $890? Why are you paying through the nose for such a small place when you could find a cheaper one somewhere outside of the downtown area? Yeah, I guess. Okay. How much money do you spend on food a month? Hmm, well, I'm not really sure. I think I spend about $600. $600? Well, I go out to eat at least four times a week, so the expenses add up. I just don't enjoy eating alone, and I don't have a knack for cooking like you do. Well, I can understand that, but perhaps you ought to buy some microwavable meals you could just prepare at home. Well, I guess I could. And entertainment? Well, I spend a few dollars here and there on basketball and movie tickets, a concert or two, and ballroom dance lessons. Uh, exactly how much do you spend on all of these? Just a few dollars? Well, oh, about $400 or so. Or so? No wonder you're having money problems. You just can't blow your money on things like that. And what about transportation? Well, I commute to work every day in my new sports car, but I got a great deal and my monthly payments are only $450 a month. Come outside and take a look. We can go for a spin. No, I've heard enough. You've got to curb your spending or you'll end up broke. I suggest you get rid of your credit cards, oh. cut back on your entertainment expenses, and sell your car. Huh? Take public transportation from now on. Sell my car? I can't date without a car. What am I going to I say, uh, could you meet me downtown at the bus stop at 7? Come on! And you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to uh -huh. it. And start with paying off your bills, starting with me. You owe me $50. $50? Wait, I only borrowed $20 from you last week. How did you, How did you come up with 50 Financial consulting fees. My advice is at least worth 30 Okay, so let's try to do it. Uh, guys, what do you say about it? Um, like this. I'm going to send you the link. If you want to do it on your own, you can do it. Uh, uh, there is the link. Okay, the man is speaking with his sister, mom, or his friend. His friend. His friend. So, what do you think, Oscar, Veronica? His mom. His mom. 
I think when his mom. His mom. Sí, yo entendí todo, pero no le voy a decir. <laughs> okay. Tell us, so what do you think? Sister, mom, or his friend? You're mute. You're mute. Okay. Um, let's see. Anybody else? Lady, what do you think, lady? Um, not sure. Okay. Okay. His friend, he says. His friend. Sister. Sister. Okay. So I go with Raphael. Let's check this one. Correct, Raphael. Okay, so, oh yeah, I guess, but I'm pinching pennies myself and you still owe me $20 from us. week. and mom and your friend Ron said you borrowed money from them this past week. Okay, question two. How do you describe the man's current situation? He's in debt and is trying to borrow money. He has a lot of expenses, including student loans. He has a decent job, but he's looking for a new one. So what do you think about his situation? He has a lot of expenses. He's in debt. He's in debt or money. Mm -hmm. He's in debt. He's in debt. He's, in debt. he's trying to borrow money. Okay, so I think we got two opinions. On the rest, uh, what do you think? Uh-huh. <laughs> He has a lot of, of expenses, including student loan. Well, indeed, he has some, but mm, I'll go with Veronica with this one. Look at this. Yeah. So let's read the, the reason. Uh, well, well, I, I do, do. Uh -huh. pay off a lot of things recently, but now I can seem to pay the money. Mm -hmm. So the thing is that he's trying to. Uh, well, he used uh, he overuses his, his credit cards and he spent the money, but not in expenses. He he spent the money in a card, and besides that, he also has a an really expensive apartment, right? Do you remember that? Okay. Uh, question: Which sentence best describe the man's dining? Practices. He so, tries to go out to eat every night. Okay. He tries to eat alone. Alone? Okay. He prefers to eat alone. Mm, okay. Um, okay. He doesn't know how to cook very well. No. <laughs> he doesn't know. Well, actually. <laughs> This one, he tries to go a bit. Well, he, he can cook, right? He can cook, but he spent a lot of money in some restaurants and he spent like 600, right? Four times a week. Imagine that situation. So those expenses add up. I just don't enjoy eating alone. Okay. So I have a knack for cooking like you. So he doesn't have the ability to do it. And the man's apartment is. Small, spacious, or an apartment downtown with free parking. An apartment that includes public TV. Okay, Blanca, what do you think, guys? Uh, Julio, Rafael, Oscar, Blanca? Uh, it's an apartment that includes public TV. Okay, so let's check. Okay, no. Look at the reason. Oh, I pay $890 on rent for the studio apartment downtown, not including utilities and cable TV, but the place has an awesome view of the city. So he spent a lot of money and things which are not uh, really, let's say, necessary. Uh, the woman suggests that the man, so what is her suggestion? Be careful when using his credit cards. Stop spending money on entertainment. How to get rid of his car to save money? How to get rid of his car to save money? 
Okay. What else? Any other opinion? No more, no more opinions. Uh, lady, what do you think about this one? Stop depending on entertainment. Okay. Number two. Uh, number two. Okay, so let's check it. <laughs> uh, to Be get ready. careful. Uh -huh. yes. I am your teacher. Okay, you so were right. That's my point. You can't. You were right. Pero es que Oscar no nos quiso ayudar. Oscar lo había entendido todo, dijo. Yes. <laughs> okay, and you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to it. Tiene que apegarse a eso, right? To create a, a budget. budget for you say and stick to mm -hmm. it and start with pay. Yeah. yeah, she mentioned, right? So listen up, I'm going to send you the link so you can practice with the scripts. Le voy a dejar el enlace por ahí en el chat. Si lo pueden compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp también. Para que ustedes lo puedan practicar. Ajá, sí. Para que que lo, escuchemos varias veces, teacher, porque ahí eso es lo que poner, más cuesta. Ahí se lo voy a poner. Nos sacamos con los... dos compañeros. Cuatro nos sacamos, compañeros. Ahí se lo voy a poner con... Aplazado, eh... salimos ahora, teacher. No, very fast. Ahí vamos. Nos está fallando el oído. Se lo voy a compartir, chicos, ahí con, la, con las scripts, para que ustedes vayan viendo lo que dice. Bien, cuatro todo el grupo. So don't, don't worry about it, okay? So it's just a matter of practice. You got the, you have the vocabulary, just read the scripts and, uh, and listen, okay? Okay, so uh, okay. because of the time, I will continue with this activity because we have to uh, talk about so and such. Okay, so probably you get a 10 with this activity. Okay, so look at this. We are going to talk about so and such in order to make uh, emphasis, okay? So and such, so I want you to pay attention to these guys. So, so and such are intensifiers and we're going to use them to modify adjectives and nouns. So these two words, so and such, help us to modify adjectives and nouns. Examples, look at this. Adjective plus advert plus that. You are so stubborn. So it means, why do you drive so slowly? He drives so slowly that it's dangerous. So you have three examples in there. We're gonna check that later. I'm going to create some more examples. So that is a so, such. Such is followed by an adjective plus uncountable noun or a countable noun plus that. We had such terrible weather, okay? Adjective plus plural and that she said such nice things that we were all in tears. Okay, so the I'm going to show you the structures later. Just uh, let's read the information that we have in this chart. So much uncountable noun plus that. Before that, uh, besides that, we also use uh, these words, so and such, with um, the words much and many with the quantifiers. También lo vamos a utilizar con los quantifiers. And much, con many. Uh, I didn't know she had so much money. Look at this uncountable noun plus. Okay, so we have a quantifier plus uncountable noun. We cook so much food that we have to throw half of it away. Cocinamos demasiado, okay? Tuvimos que tirar. So many for countable, plural noun, countable things. We couldn't walk among so many fans. No pudimos caminar entre muchos fans, right? There were so many fans at the concert that we didn't really enjoy it. And uh, we also have such a, so it's follow, uh, look at the example. It was such a party, fue tal fiesta, it was real fun. He's such a liar that no one trusts him. 
Look at this. Uh, we have a warning here. Do not use so plus adjective and noun. He's so nice person. No, we're going to check the structures in a moment. He's such a nice person. Yes, he's so nice. Yes, but you cannot say, you cannot add an adjective after this. So, right. So, look at this. So, I want you to copy this chart. Look at this chart. So, I want you to copy that. And look at this. Uh, we can use so and such to intensify adjectives, adverbs, and nouns. So, such. Notice the difference. So plus adjective, she's so beautiful. Remember that these intensifiers, so and such, help us to modify nouns and adjectives, okay? Recuerden que nos ayudan a intensificar algo, hacer énfasis en algo. Uh, for example, when you say, she's so beautiful, right? She's so kind. So what could be another example? Remember, adjectives? She is so smart. So you show an emphasis in this. Estamos mostrando un mayor emphasis. Uh, she's, okay. The other one that we have is so plus adverb. She speaks so quickly. Ella habla como? Como habla? Quickly, what's that? Inteligente. Mucho. Look at this, so plus adverb. She speaks so quickly. ¿Cómo habla? ¿Qué hace un adverbio? ¿Modifica un? Muy rápido, muy rápido. Ajá, un Rápidamente. Rápidamente, she speaks so quickly. Okay, she walks so slow. So slowly, right? Okay. Llevamos dos, llevamos dos. So plus adjective, so plus adverb. So now let's check so plus quantifier plus noun. There are so many bases. There are so many bases. Example. There are so quantifier, countable noun. There are so many. Give me a countable noun. There are so many. Students. There are so many. A countable noun, guys. Countable nouns. Julio, lady, Oscar, countable nouns. How? Persons. Okay. There are so many persons, people. People. Mm -hmm. Persons, okay. And besides that, we have a so plus quantifier plus noun. So the quantifier is many or much. There are so much. So what follows? Que seguiría aquí? Much, before the much. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Okay. There are so much, but there is so much. Is it correct? There is. There is, right? There is so much, what? Uncountable noun. Old water, juice, money, salt, money. Okay, money. very good. So there is so much money. Another example. There is so much. Give me another. Mm, well, we're gonna say there are many many stories. There is so much time. There is so much time. So what you need to know about this is that you're going to use so, such, and when you want to emphasize something, and when you want to, uh, 
also use the, um, let's say, quantifiers, right? Okay. By the way, do you copy the examples? Yes. Okay. So look at this. We also have so plus adjective plus a dot close or a noun close. It's so hot that I painted. Está caliente. Está muy caliente. ¿Qué? ¿Me? ¿Qué pasó? Me des my year, right? So sweet that look at this. We follow the structure so plus an adjective, right? Look at this so plus adjective. Está, let's say, tan dulce que, so sweet that. So give me a sentence. So we have, uh, this case is, uh, we have a situation and we have a result. Tenemos una situación y tenemos una causa y, una, y un efecto, causa y efecto. Es tan dulce que, ¿y qué pasó? Que yo quiero, ¿qué cosa? ¿Cuál sería el efecto de comer algo dulce? Drink water. Uh -huh. Que quiero tomar agua. Uh -huh. Está tan dulce que quiero tomar agua. It's so heavy that I need what? It's so heavy that I need. Es tan pesado que necesito que. Descansar. I need to rest. To rest. Okay. So I will say help. Tan pesado que necesito ayuda. Okay. Entonces, podemos utilizarlo con so plus adjective, she's so beautiful. So plus adverb, so plus quantifier plus noun. There are so many bases. So you just focus on the rules. Solamente enfoques en la regla. There are so many bases. So plus quantifier, many or much, plus a noun, bases, right? Tenemos también cláusulas de causa y efecto en este caso. It's so hot that I painted. Tan caliente que me desmayo. <laughs> okay. And look at this. Uh, we have such. Ya vimos ahí so. Now let's check such. It's such an amazing idea. Es una gran idea. It's such an amazing idea. It's such a uh, a good what? Look at the structure. Veamos la estructura. Is such a good adjective plus noun? Good what? Noun? Can you mention a noun? Is such a good time, for example. Is such a nice the weather? Weather. Okay. Such a beautiful lady, okay. Such a an amazing student, right? So remember that you need to follow again the rules. A with the consonant sounds and N with the vowel sounds. Recuerden aquí? Los usos de A y N. ¿Mm? Sonido consonante, sonido vocal. Okay. Is such an important, look at this, adjective, important. She's important for me. Is such an important 
person. Es una persona importante, right? So remember that we use so such to intensify these adjectives are the adverbs or nouns. Recuerden que lo hacemos para enfatizar algo, para intensificar uh -huh. algo. Okay. So now let's continue with uh, this one. Such plus noun. También podemos dejarlo sin el adjetivo. Ustedes noten la diferencia acá. Miren, la estructura. Such plus a or n. ¿Qué sigue después? Adjective, right? After that, we have a noun. Time, weather, lady. So that's a noun. Okay. Student. Lady. And person, right? Person. Okay, so what I want you to notice is the words that you have there. But you can also use such just with the noun. Don't say such a thing. No digas tal cosa. She's such. Such a person. Mm -hmm. Is such a man. Man. We are such students. Okay, so basically in here, what I want you to say, uh, what I want you to know is that you can use that either with the adjective plus noun or just with the noun. Entonces lo pueden utilizar ya sea con un adjetivo sustantivo o solamente un sustantivo. So the meaning is the same. So we use that in order to intensify adjectives. Okay. So now let's try to check some examples. I think. Let me check if we have some time. Probably just for one exercise. Okay, so now try to remember what we have uh, studied. Samantha is, so what do you think? So, so beautiful. or so? So beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, so beautiful. So adjective, very good. She's a nice Such. woman. Such a nice woman. Such a nice woman. Okay, so we have adjective plus noun. Paris is? So. so. So big, excellent. So plus adjective, it is a large city. A large city. A large city. It was Remember, adjective noun. It was windy. What so windy? Oh, so 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 okay, we're these dogs. Oh, so lovely. So 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 so, so, adjective plus noun. So, what do you think? No. So, so or so, such? So, so. Mm, okay, so I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> don't say. So, don't say. So, words. So, so, so. words and noun. Yeah. Words. The word. Such. Mm -hmm. So that's not an adjective. You shouldn't be rude. Uh, yes, it doesn't matter. Let's check. Very good. Excellent. Nice. <laughs> let's finish with or such. Right? So, so, so they are so, 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 so such kind, kind people. Okay. Okay. That was. Oh. 
some fun. So fun. So fun. Um, he was. He was such a lovely such day. Such a, a lovely, lovely day. day. Who drank? Um, so okay, much water. So, 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 so much water. So much water. water. I have never seen. Such a thing. Nunca he visto tal cosa. Paul has. Paul so, has. A beautiful oh, eyes. Beautiful eyes. eyes. So, Beautiful eyes. Such beautiful eyes. Uh, such. Such. Such, such, or so. such. such beautiful eyes. Such. So, okay. He's, he's uh, handsome. 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 We eat such, such many, many, many grains. Mm, such or so. So, such. so many grapes. Oh, so many, many grapes. grapes. So. And the last one. Where did get uh, get so great? Get so, so or such. such. I know because somebody who was. No, it's a noun. It's a noun. No. No, tiene que ser so. So plus. So plus. Let's see. So what do you think? So plus adjective. Remember. So plus adjective. So plus adverb. So plus a quantifier or a noun. Okay. Mm -hmm. such, such, such. What do you get? Such grapes. Such, such grapes. Such plus noun, right? Such grapes. So many grapes. So handsome adjective, adjective, noun. Remember, such adjective plus noun. Such a thing. Such plus a noun. So much water. Lo que veíamos, ¿verdad? Con los eh, quantifiers. So, con many o con much. También podrían ser otros como a lot, a few, little. Entonces, cuando lo vean ahí, también puede, no necesariamente puede ser eh, much and many. Podría ser también eh, a lot. Podría ser, bueno, podría ser este little, few. Ok. So. Listen, I'm going to send you some exercises so you can practice and eat. Um, okay, and I think we're going to, but we're going to pass the tennis and we're going to have some more practice tomorrow about it, okay? So at the beginning of the session, but just um, today I'm going to send you some exercises. Okay, say present, please. Ana Marlene Andrade Osorio. Say person, Ana Marlene Andrade Osorio. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlene. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Is there Blanca Luz Delgado Flores. Present teacher. Thank you, Luz. Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Present. Thank you, Clelia. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher, solo tengo manejando. Ok. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Present, Miss. Thank you. Julio César Aguillón. Present. Thank you, Julio. Lady Joana Hernández. Present. Thank you. Nilton Alexander Vázquez. Oscar René Molina. Present. Teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Present. Thank you, Rosa. And Verónica Elizabeth Burgos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much, guys. So we stay with, uh, let me check. Uh, Oscar, I guess. No. Um, no, pero yo tengo preguntas. La tarea me puede ayudar a hacer. La tarea. 
Oscar. Onward. Okay. Okay. So I agree. Okay. So just stay. Um. Okay. So that's all for today, guys. Have a nice uh, night and uh, rest well. Teacher, se me fue la señal de la Aquí estoy, todavía no me he dormido. Ah, okay. Cuando, cuando venía pasando por el penal, se va la señal. Ok, no te preocupes. Es una clase tan clase. Ok, gracias. Uh, ok, guys, uh, good night. See you tomorrow. Yo creo que se querían quedar, ¿verdad? Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, Veronica. Good night. Teacher, yo tengo una, una consulta, fíjese, respecto uh -huh. a una yeah. de las evaluaciones de la plataforma. Ok, vamos a, ahorita estoy abriendo la plataforma para ver. Para ver eso. Ok. Su perro tenía sed. Ya le puse varias respuestas. La, 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 creo la, que la misma. Ya, no sé, ah, la 312. Curiosamente, quiero ver si lo puedo compartir mientras lo esperaba. Sí, se ve, Esa es. Mm, ok. No tengo problemas también yo. La 12. Sí. Yo creo que los demás no han llegado ahí, por otro se quedaron. Yo intenté yes. de varias maneras y no. Oh, ok. Veamos claro. la indicación que dice: Write the following positive sentences into negative past tense. Her dog was thirsty. Negative. Her dog wasn't uh -huh. thirsty. Her dog. Her dog. Her dog. Uh -huh. I ponga le capital letter. Capital letter at the beginning. Uh -huh. Capital. Her dog. Her dog. Uh -huh. Was. Work. Was not. Wasn't. Was not. Was not thirsty. Ahí debería de. Ajá, solamente que la D también hay que ponerla eh, lower case. La D. Dog. Uh -huh. Lower, okay. uh -huh. Here, dog, dog was not. Okay. Veamos. Póngalo con, no. en una contracción. Was not, wasn't. Like, wasn't. Uh -huh. Apostrophe. Ahí está. Uh, el apostrophe. Me cuesta ya el único teclado. <laughs> yeah, está en el, en el signo después del cero. Okay. No, no sale ahí. Ah, question mark. Yo creo que ese era. No, me sale si el no está después de la P. Ajá, después de la P puede ser. Ajá. No me sale esa No, el mismo le sale. Lo voy a lo voy a traer a Sí. Después de la I. Lo voy a copiar ahorita. Lo copio, lo copio de otra que está por aquí. A ver. Ahí Vamos se la copia el chat. Sí, ah, ah, vale. Ahorita lo voy a copiar. Aquí está. Guasi. Perfecto. Así. Ahí debería de. Ah, pero le quito not, pero. Así. Wasn't third thirsty. Ah, ya salió. Problemas ahí. Nada. Vamos a ver el espacio, creo que tiene uno. Uh -huh. Ya. Ahí está. Ah, está ahí. Qué barbaridad. I found ten dollars on the street. Ok, negativas. I didn't. Fine. Sería. Ah, lo que pasa es que ya tenemos el otro. Ah, 
Uh -huh. Fine. Teacher, yo la escribí igual, pero no me, no, me, no me la toma. ¿Será que tengo que ponerle punto al final? Sí, hay que ponerle yeah. punto al final. I didn't find. Ajá, ten dollars. Veamos cómo le sale a él en él. Ten dollars. Ahí como, justo tiene que ir justo como está, pegadito también. Ajá, a ah, ver. Dollars. On the street. Separate. Uh -huh. Street. Yes, street. No, no le ponemos punto. A ver si a vos con punto no te lo agarro. No. Bueno, él, no, 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 no lo lo bueno, bueno es que no le borra la respuesta. No. Tampoco. ¿No lo agarra? No. Ok, solo me check. Vamos a checar en el que yo tengo. Ah, pero me sigue falta algo. La R le falta aquí. Ah, oh, me check. Yes. Ah, ok. Ya la agarraste, Rafael. Aquí. Que quiera, de, de Ahí se la coloqué. Ah, pues sí. Ok. ¿Y ese cómo nos quedaría? No, esos son, esos son de, la, de los ejercicios anteriores, creo yo. El, yo creo que el mismo trae. I want. I went. Yo fui. Si es necesario el punto. <ríe> sí. Uh -huh. Ok, ahí nos está, recuerde que nos está pidiendo que convirtamos las afirmativas a negativas. Entonces, when, ¿cuál es el, el eh, significado de when? Fui, ¿verdad? Fui. Y para convertir una oración negativa, ¿qué es lo que hago? Agrego un auxiliar. El auxiliar. I did. I did not. Uh -huh. Pero contractado, hagámoslo, porque me parece que contractado bueno, es que lo está agarrando. Lo traigo, lo traigo así mejor. Uh -huh. I didn't. I ok. Didn't. ¿Y cuál sería la forma base de went? En infinitivo. Uh, was. Where. No, when es otro verbo diferente a el to be. When es we. Ajá. Uh -huh. I don't we. Okay. Aquí. ¿Cuál es el definitivo de went? Es go, ¿verdad? Yo. Ajá. Go, went, ah, sí. Uh -huh. I, I didn't, didn't go. go to the beach last week. Last weekend, ajá. Uh -huh. Y eso lo va a hacer week o le ponemos week. Weekend. Ah, todo, ahí está. Bárbara, tú. Ahora sí. Agarra, la a uh -huh. Lo que tiene que tener cuidado es con, con la estructura. Uh -huh. Recuerde que vaya, presente, sujeto, verbo, presente. Claro, pero sí. Pasado, ahí la oración está en pasado, las oraciones ah, están en pasado, ahora tenemos que convertirlas en negativas, pero como cuando son negativas o preguntas, el verbo va en su forma base, uh -huh. ahí, ¿qué verbo está utilizando? Was, el verbo to be, entonces ahí yo no necesito, con el verbo to be, recuerden que les comentaba que ahí no necesitan auxiliares, porque, I was in upset white hair. porque el to be tiene su propia sí, forma, I was, yo estaba, yo no estaba, I wasn't. N, uh, no, N, erase E, ahí no le... Ajá, was, ajá, apostrofe. Yes, was not. I was not upset with her. Okay, we're good. Number five. I wasn't upset. Check the screen. Mm -hmm. It's T. Upset. Very good. Excellent. 
I flew. I flew. Uh -huh. I flew. Okay, el verbo volar. So, ¿Cuál está ahí? Fly. Fly, ok. Pero me falta, tengo que convertir la negativa. Entonces necesito un... Yeah. Ajá, el auxiliar. Yeah, el auxiliar más... Yeah. Ajá, más el not. Ahí tiran. No se tiene práctica, yeah, ¿no? Fly. <laughs> <laughs> Ahí tiran fly to San Francisco. ¿Tú? San Francisco. ¿Tú? No, solo dice. Uh -huh. San Francisco. Francisco. Uh -huh. Los que llevan ese artículo de, o da, de perdón, da, solo son algunos países. Por ejemplo, Estados Unidos, the United States. Da, o algunos nombres que llevan ese, ese da. Uh -huh. San Francisco. Awesome, very good. Oh, bien. Y Rafael. Era, Rafael. 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 Estábamos, estábamos en la misma. ¿verdad? ¿Era la misma, Rafael? Algo sencillo. <ríe> A mí el punto me falló muchas veces. El, sí, tienen que tener cuidado. De eso. Pero ah, sí, hay veces que sí son algunos, este, hay algunos errores, pero eh, a veces es cuestión. Ah, se quedó sin audio, Oscar. Ah, no, no, no sé si está hablando, pero creo que no lo escucho. No, 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 no estaba hablando. No, no, <ríe> se está sonriendo. Ok, y ahí en no eso. Se le escucha. Ahí tenemos que hacer preguntas. Yes, no questions. Pero tiene que ser basado en la respuesta que tiene ahí. Por ejemplo. Ah, de la respuesta. Uh -huh, yes, I did. I sent the email. ¿Cómo me quedaría una pregunta? Empezamos con el auxiliar. La yes no question did, empiezan con el auxiliar. Did, did you send to email? Ah, uh -huh. did you send? Did you send? Are, uh, ok, sí, ahí es. Capital letter. Yes. Sí, sí. Uh, yo también intenté hacerlo. <laughs> did you send the email? No se, le, no se le escucha, Oscar. No sé si será mi audífono. Sí me escucha a mí, ¿verdad, Tito? Se escucha, pero se escucha por ratito, se acorda. Ok, ahí va un question mark. Question mark. Borremos ahí el punto. Eh, ahí está. Sí. Ahí está. Did you send? Ok. Uh, hold on. Send. Recuerda que acá el verbo va en presente, en infinitivo. Did you send? Ahí está en pasado el verbo. El, pas el presente de, del ahí. verbo enviar solo es send, con D. Es un verbo irregular. Entonces, los, regula los irregulares cambian su forma. Ajá, cambian su forma en pasado. Pero en presente es sand y el pasado es contra. A ver, segunda pregunta. No, they didn't. No se ve espacio. Ajá. Este no lleva espacio. No lleva espacio en este. Sí, no, así está bien. No, así está bien. Oh, pegadito. Ahí pegadito. No, they didn't. They didn't check the information. Ok, como son yes, no questions, siempre vamos a empezar con el auxiliar. Did they? Did they, uh -huh. did they do? Mm, veamos el verbo que tiene ahí, la oración, arriba. They didn't check. Did they check? Ajá, es el verbo, they. ajá, es que tiene que ser, el, tiene que responder a esa pregunta. Did they check the information? Checking sería ahí. No, así. así. Ajá, solo recuerde que en, en, pres, en preguntas y oraciones negativas, el verbo se mantiene en su forma base o infinitiva. Esto es en el pasado simple. Vamos a probar si probemos. Ok, did they check the in? Ahí tiene doble in. In, in. No, este es informe. Did you check the. Ajá, es que está repetido in. Information. Atrás, atrás, más atrás. The information. The in. Es ese es. Ah. Solo que creo que quedó un espacio. Ahí está. Ahí está. Okay. 
Question three. I did, I went to the meeting. Fui a la reunión. Did you? Did you? El verbo ir. Go. Go. Ajá. Uh -huh. Did you go? Did you go? Y ahí le agrega lo demás que está ahí. Este es el equipo que tiene. Gracias. Gracias. por question mark. Excellent. Uh, he bought a car yesterday. Compró un carro ayer. Did he? ¿Quién? Eh, Alberto. Ok. Buy. Buy. Excellent. Very good. Did he buy a car yesterday? Yes. Well, that's all. Mm -hmm. Bárbaro. Ya agarré. Ya agarré. Yes. So, thing is a matter of Teacher, y a las preguntas siempre solo se les asigna un, un, un signo de cierre de interrogación. Sí, solo un question mark al final. Eso es todo. Y a las oraciones el punto, ¿verdad? A las oraciones el punto, sí. Mire, ya, solito. Gracias. Ya la hice yo todo. <risa> ya, ya, ya le agarró ahí como es el, el verbo. Recuerde que tiene que cambiarlo. En este caso, tenemos que cambiarlo. Ajá. Uh -huh. En oraciones, ya, la Ajá. En oraciones le voy a mandar un ejercicio del, del past tense para que esté practicando las negativas, eh, afirmativas, negativas y preguntas. Ahora, de leer el siguiente para ver las. Ahora vienen las double H questions. En el ejercicio 14, creo que. Vaya, acá, aquí hay que crear oraciones con las palabras que nos han dado, pero son information questions, acá son open questions. Empezamos con la double H, what. Muy bien, así, ahí está bien, what. Ahora va un verbo auxiliar. Uh -huh. What did, subject pronoun. Uh -huh. este, ahí sería yo. You. Verb, Subject. You. Now, verb. Uh -huh. verb. Ahora el verbo. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye, bye. B-U-Y. B-U-Y. Check the spelling. Ve ahí el, la ortografía. Bye. Ah, perdón. Mm -hmm. Quizás muy pequeño lo tiene. Hágalo más cerca. Creo que está, está bien lejos. Ahí está. El question mark. Falta el question mark. So check pero, it. Uh -huh. Ah, pero así no me tienen que sobrar ninguna. ¿verdad? Igual, uh -huh. where, where did she go last night? Por ejemplo. Awesome. Uh -huh. yes. Sí, así. Pues, where. Ah, when. When. Where. where you. You born. Ajá, esta es una double H con, pasado, con el verbo to be, mire. Cuando son con el verbo to be, lo que utiliza es eh, la forma del to be. Were o was. Ah, y aquí va a haber cambio. Ajá, no. Ahí, va, ahí, no, ahí no es como auxiliar. Como el, ah, sería when. La double H question es when. When ahora utiliza el pasado del verbo to be. When were you? Born. ¿Cuándo naciste? Oh. When were you born? Okay. Ahí está. Sí, la verdad es que no. No te tenés aquí. No, no, ahí me perdí. Con eso sí me perdí. ¿Con cuál? Eh, eh, aquí está más fácil, fue... fíjate. Eh, eh, esa, por ejemplo, la número dos, ya la intenté armar la de tres maneras uh -huh. where did she go last night pero no no me la tomó sí así es where did she go last night did she go last night verifique ahí el, alguna letra que le da falta o el question mark right. question mark uh -huh. Chequémosle. Puede ser algún espacio. Sí, tal vez el punto. El... Ajá. 
Oh, tal vez se le puso. Lo... Quizás le, no sé si le habrá dejado algún espacio, Rafael. How? Sí, algo así le escribí. Ah, ahí recuerda que es una. Oh, ajá, después lo cambié por doctor. Okay. How old are How old? Sí. How old are you? Ah, recuerda que las double pero, A también tienen pero, otras. Así es. Uh -huh, pero como, como ahí tiene, es la misma pregunta que hacemos en presente. How old are you? Es otra derivación. How? How old? Una double H. Uh -huh. How old? How old were you? Ah, no, ¿Qué ha pasado? How old were you? ¿Cuántos años tenías? O tenían ustedes. Recuerden que el tú significa tú o ustedes. How old were you? Muy bien. Ok. Yo no la había visto así con How old were you? Ajá, ¿verdad? Este es el pasado. How old were you? ¿Cuántos años tenías o tenían? What? What did you do? Uh -huh. What did you do yesterday? Yesterday. Very good. Question mark. Excellent. Uh -huh. Perfect. ¿Cómo es el signo de cierre de interrogación en inglés, teacher? Question, question mark. Question? Question mark. mark. Question mark. Mark. Ajá, mark. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Thank you. Mark. Uh -huh. Ya poquita falta. Ya, 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 me ya, 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 Uh -huh. Ahí lo que tiene que hacer es cambiarlas a, a, a positivo. A positivo, perdón, a positivo. O sea, she didn't buy that ah. computer. Ya, ya le dejo, teacher. Esa la voy a intentar yo. Si no, le okay. pregunto mañana. She bought. Thank you. <risa> ok. Ah, bueno. Ahí tengo Yo nadie. Yo nadie. Ok. Gracias, teacher. Hasta luego. Ok. <risa> ok, have a good night, guys. <risa> Okay, thank you. Sí, ahí solamente sería she bought. She bought that computer. She bought that computer. Okay. She bought. Uh -huh. B U H. Aquí es. Let me see. I'm going to send you a message. Bought. V O U G H T. Ah, en vez de la N, es G. G, G. G, H, T. Bot. Bot. Ve ahí el mensaje. Bot. Se lo va a tomar. Bueno, márquenlo. Pero le creo que ahí. La escritura del verbo. Bot. No, 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 no. Ah, ok, that computer, that computer, that computer, that, ahí ya nos tienen las palabras que tenemos que utilizar, that, ahí está, no sé si eso es lo que voy a ir a hacer, ahí, ahí. Ajá, es irle cambiando el verbo, irle cambiando el verbo en pasado, ahí es solamente eso, que que hacer. Excelente. gracias teacher, ok, Oscar, thank you, bye bye. Gracias.